So it is energy balance yoga, which means it is time for our oracle card. This is fabulous. What about timing? So this is persistence, which I just, I think it's a good word. And Luke, I think that's the way you say it, who is the god of the harvest. So really, really good timing and persistence. Beautiful, fiery sunshine about enjoying the, the, the harvest and I think it's about, you know, things that we maybe we're getting a bit tired and thinking, oh, I can't keep going. I'm just going to drop it or give things up or not keep moving towards um, what we want in our lives. And uh, let's just keep taking the steps, keep taking the baby steps, keep doing the work, keep doing the practice. Even if some days it doesn't feel like it's doing anything, just keep the practice there anyway. So I like this persistence. Persistence pays. I think it's a good, good word for us today. So that's put a smile on my face and we're going to begin our practice. Okay. We're going to begin seated. Okay. So let's come to our seat. And we're going to just rub the knees just to start gently and with some care for ourselves. So focusing on the body. Maybe you've been very busy today and looking at a screen or kind of feeling overwhelmed with work or people or stuff that we have to deal with, situations, dramas. So we just come into ourselves again. Actually, yes, feels like a good place to just stimulate. It's all about the heart. I think this is a, this week, as well as persistence, persistence, returning to the heart space. Yeah, persistently return, persistently inhabit this space, come back to it and we just wake ourselves up. So we're getting this stimulating the whole chest area. And then we'll also just give the sides a little rub into the ribs there. Breathe into our nostrils. <sighs> so happy for now. And with the palms together. Yeah. And shake the hands out. Just shaking off the day a little bit. Then we're going to lift the shoulders up high, breathing into the nostrils. Squeeze the shoulders, hold the breath in for a second, then out through the mouth. <sighs> Drop the shoulders down. And again, breathing in, squeeze the shoulders up high. Out through the mouth. <sighs> Let's do one more of those. Breathing in, squeeze the shoulders up high. And out through the mouth. <sighs> Drop the shoulders back and we'll roll the shoulders back a few times. So it's all happening in the shoulders. We're rolling them back, moving them through space, lifting, rolling them backwards, down, forwards, really easing out any tension that might be in this area. And then we'll roll them forwards a few times. Again, just squeezing, really trying to make that circle as big as possible, finding the full range of movement that you have in your shoulders there. Yeah, now we've woken that up a little bit. Bring the hands to the heart center. We're gonna open the chest a little bit with the breath and the movement of the body. So pressing the hands firmly but gently together. Lift the chest towards the hands. Breathe in. Now and breathe out. Make space for the next in-breath. In the in-breath, we're picking the hands back. Open the heart wide. Fingers go right back and then exhale, bringing the hands forward and dropping the gaze down to the fingertips there. So a nice, simple little practice, but really focusing in a nice, simple, gentle way. When we move, when we move with the breath, we're supported, the movement's supported. It's almost like the breath is doing all the work for us. And it does help to keep our mind focused and uh, prevents it maybe from wandering off or makes it less likely to wander off. When we have a point of focus to stay with, so inhaling, opening, seeing how big that inhale can be, how wide we can make the chest, lifting even the chin and the front of the throat, and then coming back, kind of coming to an inside space. So this is the big abundant display of the, har of the harvest, big sunshine, last sunny moment, and then we come back into the dark. So I'm inhaling. One more last time and exhaling, bringing the hands back to the heart center, looking down at the fingertips there, just noticing how that feels a little bit now. And then we interlink the fingers and we press up. 
pushing up. Inhale to the chest and the whole body, and then breathing out, pushing the hands up. Keep the shoulders down, extending through the elbows, keeping the body long. And feel that in your abdominal area through the size of the waist, breathing in. Really feel the chest expanding, feel the ribs expanding out to the size as you inhale. And as you exhale, just dropping the hands down slowly as you breathe out through the nostrils, the hands are coming down and they reach the ground either side of the body. And then we bend that left elbow, left hand is firmly on the ground, fingers pointing forwards. And as you inhale, we extend the right hand up, we're going to extend through the right side. And as you exhale, bending into that left elbow, reaching over the body, extending from the fingertip of the right hand, right to the right hip, really land those sitting bones down to create as much space and expansion in the right side of the body. If you want, you can turn your head to look up at the ceiling on the inside of that arm, if you want to do that. But really try and keep the shoulders down away from your ears, keep the neck long, breathe, use your breath. And then we're gonna use, we're gonna just let the hands drop forwards. So nice and easy, very soft and gentle starting here. Let's see how that feels. Have a little wriggle, right hand on the right side, fingers pointing forwards. Get the fingers spread wide. Inhale, push up through that left fingers, reaching to the ceiling and exhaling, reaching over the body, bending into that right elbow, reaching over the body. Looking up at the ceiling on the inside of that arm, keeping the shoulders away from the ears, breathing in, expanding the chest, feeling the ribs expand. The whole of the upper body is expanding into the side of the left waist also. Looking up, up at the ceiling on the inside of that arm, that feels okay. You can even rest onto your forearm if you feel that's better for you. Now dropping that hand down in front of you and just coming back up to seated. Good. So we're coming on to all fours now. Now we're going to do a simple little movement of the spine here. So make sure the knees are underneath your hips, space between the knees and the hands are underneath the shoulders, elbows are nice and soft. So your chest is very open here. We'll, we'll just increase that feeling by inhaling and opening the chest. So we're expanding across the front of the chest, taking the shoulders back, looking up, opening the front of the throat and then exhaling, starting from the base of the spine, it's tucking under, arching up through the spine, chin comes to the chest. And then as you inhale, you're lifting from the same place so you're lifting the tailbone and it's rippling up to the spine till the chest is open, shoulders back. Exhaling, tucking the tailbone under, arching up to the spine. Inhaling, lifting the tail, lengthening through the spine, opening the chest, looking up. So we're going back and forth. Try and keep a bit of your attention on the position of your elbows and keeping the hands open. The fingers spread wide, exhale. And now really think about your breath. So we're trying to get to the full extent of our inhale, opening the front of the body, not just across the chest, but also the front of the body. And then exhaling, expelling all the air out, arching up through the spine. The chin is coming right to the chest. We're lifting the center of the spine up to the ceiling. Soft elbows, really strong in the arms, engaging the hands fully with the ground, exhale. Moving in time with your breath. And if you want to even close your eyes just so you can feel into this. With the eyes closed, more of an internal experience of yourself, of your body, of your breath, maybe helping to direct your focus more inward, more inward experience of yourself. Good. Do one more of these. Really. Enjoy that inhale and the exhale. And as you exhale, just sit back into the heels at the end of that exhale. Then stretch the arms forward, bring the forehead to the ground, into the pose of the swan. Just feeling your wings opening up in front of you. Breathing into the whole back, into the whole of the arms, into the waist, fingertips, right into the base of the spine and breathing out, sitting deeply back into the heels. As you inhale, really feeling the ribs expand out to the sides. And as you exhale, feel them contract and squeeze the air out. Kind of feeling that sense of expansion in the body and then contraction and getting smaller, squeezing the breath out, emptying. 
So now come back to all fours. Take the hands back underneath the shoulders there. So we're nicely even tabletop. And we're going to move the opposite. So we're going to go cross lateral. Extend the left leg with the right hand. Try to make sure you're not locking that elbow. Try and keep that elbow slightly bent. So you've got the use of the arm there. And then exhaling, bringing the hand and knee down. Inhaling, left hand and right leg and exhaling down. And again, a few notes on this is we're trying to make a long line from the fingertip to the toe. And we're really thinking about the dynamic. These two points moving away from each other in space, the left fingertip and the right toe. Of course, you can choose if you want to, to push the heel away. That might be interesting for you to try. You could try a different kind of version. So it's still really pushing the heel away and extending through the body from the hand to the foot. Good. Changing your point of view, inhaling, looking forwards, exhaling, looking at the space on the ground between the hands. Just checking that you're not locking that elbow as you come onto just the weight onto one hand. It's tempting just to use the lock, but try and see if you can use the whole of the hand, the wrist, the forearm, the elbow, and the upper arm, and into the shoulder, of course. So you're using more of your body, and it's better for your body. We're not just relying on the lock, locking a joint, which isn't, isn't so good for the joint anyway. Inhaling and exhaling. Then again, we sit back into the heels, stretch the arms out in front, bring them forward to the ground. Nice and easy. And this is an opportunity to really engage with this breath. And as always, it's all about the out breath. So empty everything out. Empty. When you empty everything out, when you go to the very end, squeezing everything out, then there's an invitation for a much deeper inhale to follow. Okay. Let's move the spine a little bit more. So keeping the hands outstretched in front, spread the fingers wide. Use the inhale to come to all fours and the exhale, bringing the hips forwards, opening the chest, keeping the shoulders down away from the ears. Inhale to all fours, exhale, sit back. The, fit, the forward just touches the ground and the inhale begins. And the exhale, let the hips dip down as far as you feel you can manage, really thinking about opening the front of the body and expanding the front of the body. Exhaling, sit back into the heels. Empty out everything. So hopefully by now, into this practice, you may be finding your breath is settling into a much deeper, slower rhythm. Maybe you're finding you're able to slow everything down a little bit. By slowing and deepening the breath, mind has more space, there's more capacity, and we obviously reduce tension in the body and in the mind. So it's really worth focusing on that, slowing that down, opening the front of the body, lifting the chest, shoulders back, opening the front of the throat, inhaling to lift you up, exhaling, really send all the breath out, feel the sitting bones are going back into the heels. Feel the fullness of your breath, feel the fullness of your aliveness in your breath. Our breath is our aliveness. Let's just make this the last one, exhaling fully. Really empty out as you come into that back bend or the front opening, as I like to call it. Inhaling and then exhaling, sit back deeply into the heels. Let's enjoy that feeling. Good. Let's come up to all fours briefly. We're gonna just sit back again, but this time we're just going to in incorporate a little bit more openness in the shoulder. So put the back of the right hand on the ground and as you exhale, just slide it away underneath you and come onto the side of the head there. Resting that left elbow, don't let it, it doesn't need to be activated, it's just keeping steady. Some people might want to put a cushion underneath the head there or a block, or even pushing your, placing your hand there, if it feels better for you. And in this position, we're just breathing, and just opening the space between the shoulder blades, sending our breath into that space between the shoulder blades, right in the middle of the back, the back of the heart. So, with that heart space, we need to think of the front and also the back and also the sides. 
So now we're thinking about the back of the heart, expanding and opening this area. This can often be very tender space there. Yeah. Use the inhale to come back up to all fours. And exhale. And then inhaling, place the back of the left hand on the ground and the same thing, but we're sliding it away underneath and resting on the left side of the face. Or if you like, tuck that right hand underneath the side of the face, relaxing that right elbow and just allowing the space between the shoulder blades, upper back to naturally expand just by using gravity, breath and the position of your body. Really send that breath into the space between the shoulder blades, into the back of the heart. Breathe deeply. And then use the inhale to push into the right hand, come back to all fours. So a moment sitting back, slide the hands forward, bring the forward to the ground briefly, breathe into the nostrils, sigh out through the mouth. Ah, and let's come up into downward dog. So come up onto all fours, keep the hands where they are, ground the fingers and, and thumbs, tuck the toes under, inhaling, exhaling, lifting the knees off the ground. And let's just get the legs a little bit more lively. So bending the right knee, putting the left heel down, bending the left knee, putting the right heel down, looking back towards your feet. We don't want to look at the hands because then we're in a really strange position. And this way we've got the fingers from the fingertips to the, the base of the, of the spine is nice and long, making a nice long line. And now we're making also starting to help this line of the back of the legs. Good. Take a small, let's do a leg lift here while we're here. So you can come back down and have a rest if you want to, but if you feel strong, you can take a side step with the left foot, so it's in the center, and then lift the right leg up, point the toe, extend, push back with the hands, really extend that right leg, breathe. Don't forget to breathe, fuel your body with your breath. More breath in, lower it down on the exhale. Just change feet, so you're kind of putting the right foot where the left foot was, and lifting the left leg up. High point the toe, push back through the hands. Yeah, just enjoy this expansion, extension. Really enjoy the fingers, really feeling the ground, pressing into the hands, strengthen the arms. Good, and then bring that left leg down. Just find downward dog with both legs for a moment, and then walk feet towards the hands. And we get the relief of coming into the rag doll. So letting the body hang, letting the knees be bent. Body is hanging, breathing into the nostrils. Sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> yeah, turn the head, loosen the neck up. So turning the head as if you're saying no, just turning the head and also encouraging the neck to relax there, to feel the weight of the head. Ah, out through the mouth, sighs. Come to stillness for a moment and then feel the pull coming from the base of the spine. It's lifting, this invisible thread is lifting your back. Leave the arms hanging, leave the knees bent, leave the head hanging, breathing in and out the whole time. Try and move really slowly so you can feel each little movement of your spine as it unravels and comes to standing. Yeah, so the spine coming up to standing. And once we're standing, we're just gonna energize the body a little bit. So. We'll bring the sides of the feet together. We're going to squeeze the legs together. We're going to squeeze the arms together in a moment and we're going to extend. So we're extending this way and we're pressing together. We're going to also use the breath in this and a hold. So inhaling, lifting up, interlinking the fingers, stretch up. This is still inhaling and holding that inhale. Lift the heels off the ground. Squeeze the arms together, squeeze the legs together. And then breathing out through the nostrils, slowly bring the arms down, slowly bring the heels down, nice and slowly to the ground, good. Let's try that again. So slide the feet together, inhaling all the way up, in think fingers, stretch up, and squeeze the arms together, like squeezing the sides of the head and also squeezing the legs together. You might find you're squeezing the buttocks slightly and hold the breath in. Let's hold a little moment longer and then exhale softly, 
softly, let the air out slowly, gradually, as your heels come down gradually, as the arms come down gradually, good. Let's try this one more time, inhaling all the way up, inhale the fingers, stretch up, squeeze the arms together, squeeze the legs together, hold the breath in, hold. And release slowly and softly, how slowly can you let that go, how slowly can you bring those heels down and they're coming down to earth, arms are coming down to the body and we're back in the body, let's just get a little bit of energy from the earth now, so we're really trying to just encourage the energy to move, so feet are hips width apart, knees are bent, we're just going to bounce a little on the earth, the heels are kicking up a bit of energy, letting the arms be nice and floppy, into the nostrils, <sighs> Open the mouth, just enjoy that feeling. And then come to stillness for a moment. Okay, let's just come into a little cross crawl. So we're lifting the left knee, meeting it with the right hand, and we're going the other way. And we're moving quite slowly and mindfully. Good for a bit of balance. Notice how you're holding your body. We're not kind of leaning forwards casually. We're keeping this integrity in the upper body. Lifting the shoulders or rather lifting the chest, dropping the shoulders down, strong belly here, letting the arms move slowly through space, just getting that brain and body a little bit more integrated. Good, a bit more balanced as well. Let's take the left leg out to the side and the right leg goes over the head so it looks like this movement. So opening the side body a little more, already done a little bit opening the side body it does feel good and we notice how how stuck our energy can get inside the body sometimes when we start moving and loosening up and freeing up the blockages energy can move and we feel more energy energized and we feel we have more uh, access to energy once we let it start moving and movement creates this movement creates this and let's just do a last one just for fun come onto the ball of the foot so if we're on the ball there, we take the other leg behind. So it looks like this. We have a little tap. The other arm comes over the head and it looks like this. And this is a good one to make a smile. <laughs> Breathing in and out through the nostrils. It doesn't matter if you start moving through space, maybe you start, maybe you start going all over the place. That's okay too. Makes it much more of a little dance then. Let me come to a stillness again. Breathe in through the nostrils. <sighs> Sigh out through the mouth. Okay. Let's just come to the front of the mat. We're going to step back into Warrior Two, Virabhadrasana Two. Nice big step. I've had the legs livened up now already. Let's put the weight onto the left foot and we take a big step back with the right. Very big step. You can always creep it back a bit further if you feel you need a bit more, you can have more space. Check the hips are not, are not out of line. You want to get them. Um, level, so you feel that both legs are even as well, facing the long edge of the mat. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms to shoulder height. Breathing in, expand fingertip to fingertip. Keep the shoulders dropped down. Exhale, bending into that left knee, making sure it's going in the same direction as the toes. At the same time, you're pressing into that right foot, in the back of the right foot. Let's move. Inhale and exhale. I'm always enjoying moving in and out of the posture. It feels like it's uh, less likely to get boring. <laughs> By that I mean, you know, less likely your mind's gonna wander off. When we kind of stay with this moving, it also keeps us connected with our breath a little bit more, exhaling. And it's a nice variation, inhaling. And also feeling the strength in the legs, inhaling, lifting, lengthening, exhaling. We're not just sinking forwards, we're sinking downwards. And we're taking that weight into that back foot as well. Keep those arms engaged, exhale, inhale. Yeah, moving in time with your breath. You might be a bit faster or slower than me, that's okay. Inhale, and let's make this last one. We're gonna hold just for a breath or two. So really think about keeping that head on top of the body, keeping that, the uh, body upright, just not leaning forwards. A bit of pull on that right arm, keeping the shoulders down, neck long, looking down the left fingers, breathe. Use the inhale to come up, use the exhale to lower the arms down. 
bend into the right knee and bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Get my legs a little shake there, just to loosen them up. Weight on the right foot, big step back with the left. Try and make that a big step, let it land. And then get the hips, check out your hips, making sure they're squared to themselves. And then looking at the long edge of the mat, breathing in, lift the arms up. Lift the chest, exhaling, bringing the arms down to shoulder height. Breathing in, expand the chest, fingertip to fingertip. Exhaling, bending into that right knee, sinking downwards. Inhaling, coming up, lifting upwards, length in the body. Exhaling, sinking. Using the nostrils all the time to breathe in and out, of looking down that right arm. Maybe you might want to, at times, just check and look, look down and see when you're bending into that right knee, that you can see your big toe just on the inside of that knee. So we're really trying to keep the hips very open, really grounding into that back foot. We're not just, uh, you know, it's not just there, kind of vaguely on the ground. It's very grounded, it's very active, that left leg, very active. And the breath is active and the arms are active. Inhale one more time. Exhale, sink into the posture. Just for another breath here, maybe. Keep extending the fingers away from each other. Feel the crown lifting. Feel the groin going down to the ground. Really feel this expansion in your posture, in your being. Use the inhale to come up. Exhale, lower the arms down. Bending into the left knee. And bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Give the legs another little shake. Yeah. Knees shaking. <sighs> Feels good. Okay, we're going to come into a triangle now. So we're putting the weight onto the left foot, step back with the right. Not as big a step, you can see, it's a slightly smaller step, but it's not so small that you're kind of not really expressing the triangle with your legs on the ground. Get the hips level to themselves. Breathe in, lift the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms to shoulder height. Breathing in, let's open the palms to face forward. Exhaling, reaching forwards with the left and down making contact with that left leg and reaching up and away with the right hand. Turn the head if your neck allows that to look up with the right fingers. There's an alternative if you prefer, if this feels too much lifting this arm or for any reason it's not comfortable for the shoulder, you can always tuck the arm behind the back, placing the back of the hand on the back of the, on the back there, on the small of the back. But always thinking about that shoulder coming down and away from the right ear. Whatever you're doing with this arm, here or here, it's the same position for the shoulder. Soften the knees, just remind the knees not to lock. Wiggle the toes, remind the toes not to grip. So everything is open. There is effort here, it's a kind effort. Enjoying the aliveness, engaging with the body. I use the inhale to come up, bending into that left knee to soften it. And use the exhale for the arms to come down, bending into that right knee. Now bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Take a moment, weight on the right foot, step back with the left. But land, ground your feet, even weight between the feet, lift the arms up. Lift the chest, exhaling, bringing the arms to shoulder height. Breathing in, open the chest wide, open the hands to face forward. And reaching over with your right hand down to meet that right leg. And reaching the fingers up to the ceiling. Keep the hip nice and open there, side body, long, expressive. Soften the knees, wiggle the toes. Looking up to these fingers, of course, you can always place this hand behind the back. As I said, back of the hand just rests here on the lower back. It's a nice feeling of support there. Otherwise, extend it up, but always having that shoulder sitting away from the ear. Breathe deeply. Good. Use the inhale to come up now. Lower the arms on the exhale, bend into the left knee, and bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Take a moment here. In fact, let's just uh, take a moment to breathe in a nice, simple way. We're going to come into a little bit of a moment of gratitude. Um, yeah, and this gratitude will support this idea of persistence as well. By When we have a little bit of moment of gratitude, it encourages us to keep going. And that is the biggest, biggest piece of, uh, I don't want to say advice, biggest um, support is keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. Inhale. Exhale, pointing to the ground. Inhaling, opening up, 
fingers right out and right up and bring the hands together, looking up at the hands and just enjoying that gesture, the hands coming down through the center, pointing to the earth again and inhaling, reaching up from the earth. Imagine the things growing up from the earth and then we're bringing them back through the body. So it's a beautiful um, gesture, this movement, expressing the cycle of life, inhaling and exhaling. The whole of the cycle of life, the cycle of everything, each breath, inhaling and exhaling, one whole breath. Coming up from the earth, things growing, expanding, bearing fruit, bringing that fruit into the body, passing through the body, back down into the earth. Yeah, it's beautiful. And then bring to mind that gratitude for that. Maybe that's a nice place to start, thinking of all the things that this earth is providing for us and how we feel about that. Do we feel grateful and how do we feel grateful? What is the feeling? How does that feeling feel? Where is it in the body? Just acknowledging, identifying that gratitude and appreciation for what is and the abundance. Yeah, let's do one more of this gratitude circles inhaling hands together exhaling slowly and letting the hands land and rest at the heart center so we're coming back to the heart again close the eyes for a moment and let's just even more shine some more light on the heart in the heart space just noticing how it feels right now how does it feel the heart how would you describe it if you had to describe your heart as it is right now today? Describe it in real detail, as if it was a work of art, maybe. Color, texture, feeling, sensation of this heart as it is right now, today, in this moment. Okay, hand drop. Okay, let's see if we can do some more moving and breathing. So, half sun salute. Feet hips width apart, parallel with the feet. Inhale, lift the arms up, bring the hands together. And exhaling, the hands are coming away from each other. Coming down to the ground, you bend the knees. Fingertips touch the ground. So you have to use your abdominals there, and then we have to use them even more to lift. So you look forwards, so the hands just end up being just on the knees there. Opening the chest and exhaling, forward bend. Straight legs now, now bend the knees. Inhale, push up through the legs. Hands come together, looking up, exhale, arms come down. Inhaling, look up, exhaling, bend the knees, fingertips touch the ground. Inhale, straighten the legs, arms back, look forwards. Exhale, forward bend with the straight legs. Then bend the knees a lot more. Inhale, push up through the legs. Exhale, arms come down through space. Maybe even touching the fingers there, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, strong in the belly, strong in the back. Fingertips touch the ground, then look forwards, open the chest, hands on the knees. Exhale fully, empty out. Bend the knees now to inhale fully, lift up, reach up, look up, exhale. Empty. Let's feel the difference between the inhale and the exhale. Fingertips, bent knees, inhale. Open the chest, hearts flying upwards, exhale with the forward bend. Bend the knees, push up with strong legs up from the ground, reaching up, exhale. It's constant inhale and exhale, constant movement of the breath, inhaling and exhaling. There's no, there's no stopping or starting, there's no end point, it's just continual. Inhale, look forwards, exhale, forward bend, straight legs, bend the knees, inhale, push up through those strong legs, reach up, look up, exhale, soften, everything softening. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, fingertips touch the ground. Inhale, look forwards, hands on the knees, open the chest. Exhale, forward bend, straight legs, bend the knees. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, arms come down. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Take that strong, lively breath, inhale. Open the chest, exhale, forward bend, empty out. Bend the knees, push up through the ground, use that strong inhale to lift your hands, lift your heart, and exhale. Slowly lower the arms down. 
bring the hands to the heart center once again. Take a moment to stand, stand still, steady. See your breath, notice how it feels. Maybe even close the eyes for a moment just so you can feel and sense yourself, your center, your feelings, sensations, internal weather, the energy of the body, the physicality of the body. Just noticing that your connection with the earth, the feet on the ground, just noticing all these things. Feeling a sense of your aliveness. And open the eyes, drop the hands. Let's come into a balance. We're going to come into tree balance, which is a nice one to follow that centering and that steadiness. So we take the weight onto the left foot, bending that left knee. Try not to grip with the toes. Find a position for your right foot, either on the ankle with the toes on the ground. Knee is always out to the side. On the calf, same thing. Or up on the thigh, inside thigh. So you're pressing firmly with the foot and you're pressing the thigh back. Try and get that knee out to the side. Lifting the chest away. So everything is expansive here. Inhale, lift the arms up. Can we bring the hands together above the head and then let the hands rest at the heart center? <laughs> Wobbling, wobbles. So we, we bend like the willow where the wobbles come. If we're flexible and fluid and with breath is moving all the time and we keep a steadiness with the with the eyes, with the gaze, then you know, any wobble that's coming through, we can manage it. We just keep steady, focus. And a lot of the balance, you know, as you grow and develop with the balance, is mind focus, keeping that mind focused, making sure that you're breathing continually in and out through the nostrils, pressing the hands together, lifting the chest, feeling the length in the body. Steadiness, yeah, the stability. Okay, breathing in, lift the arms up. See if you can maintain that position as you bring the arms down on the out breath and lift the knees if you can catch it there. And lower that leg down slowly through space. Give both the legs a good shake. Bring them up a little bit and then bring the weight onto the right foot. Let that land, knee bent. Place that left foot. Whatever you did on the other side, we're going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to press my foot into the thigh and press the thigh back. Opening here. So lifting up, opening across the hips, lifting the chest, long in the front of the body. Inhale, lift the arms up, bring the hands together above the head and then take the hands to the space in front of the heart. Now lifting the chest towards the hands, dropping the shoulders down, back of the neck is long. So you feel everything is very lengthened. You also feel the feet or well, the foot, sorry, the right foot sinking into the ground, the roots going down to the ground here. Pressing the hands firmly, evenly together. Gentle pressure, it's firm, but it's, it's gentle. Steady, even, balanced. Focus your eyes, focus your breath, coming in and out through the nostrils. So we're gonna come out now. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhaling, lower the arms down. Catch that left knee if you can, give it a little squeeze, lift it high, and let it move down through space. Give the legs a shake. Give the legs a little wide now. So feet are pointing forwards, legs are fairly wide. And we're gonna come into a, a wide leg ragdoll. So knees bent so we can get a bit of hip release as well. Bring the chin to the chest, let the arms just hang, they're sliding down. The head is coming down. The arms are resting on the ground maybe, or maybe you're holding the elbow. And just let the head hang. And feel the release here, breathing in through the nostrils. Ah, out through the mouth. Ah. Take a few of these releasing breaths, breathing in through the nostrils. Sighing out for the mouth. Don't so forget the knees are bent and the body's hanging, hanging fully. The legs, particularly the thighs, are active. They're holding, holding up the body and, letting, and supporting this hanging. Now we're going to come up onto the fingertips, look forward, straighten the legs, and then forward bend. So we've got the legs straight now. And then come up on the fingertips again. Fingers are in the center. 
and then exhaling forward bend. Let's just do that one more time. Inhaling, coming up onto the fingertips, look forwards, and exhale, forward bend. Good. Now just take the hands up to the waist, look forwards again, lift the elbows, strong back and belly. If you need to hold your back to support it, you can. Now use the inhale to lift up, and exhale. Good. Let's take the feet out at a slight angle and we're going to bend into the knees. We're going to come into a goddess, why not? So we're just going to get the legs a bit more lively. We're bending the knees up and down, out to the side, lifting the chest, keeping this body upright. So everything is always engaged and interested and activated without being gripped. So knees going out to the side. So you're feeling also, you know, the uplift in the pelvic area, pelvic floor. The Mula Banda, inhaling and exhaling, pressing the hands together, lifting the chest towards the hands. So we're very upright and open in the body. And the knees are going in the same direction as the toes. So we're keeping that, preventing that twist in the knees. Now let's do the top half. Let's do everything together. Inhaling, stretch up, exhaling. So tongue comes out the mouth, this rasping sound in the throat, eyes really wide. Inhale. Good. Great. Let's try that. Another couple of times, actually. Inhale. Good. And let's just try that one more time. Gather yourself. Maybe take a breath in and out just to gather yourself. And then we'll go one last time. Really big roar. Good. And then bring the feet together. Get a nice little shake. And now we're going to come into another balance. I think it's a day where we might need a bit more balance. So we're going to come into the heron balance, moving and breathing. So weight goes onto the left foot. As you inhale, the arms are coming up and the right knee is coming up at the same time. We meet the hands above the head. Then the exhale, the knee comes down, the arms come down. The foot reaches the ground. We switch the weight, inhaling and exhaling. And this is a good one because it's quite a long breath. Well, ideally, we want, to, we want to have quite a long time as we come up and down. We're trying to lengthen that breath. Uh, Ujjayi breath is a good breath because this slows the passage of air. It restricts the passage of air. So it means that the breath naturally lengthens. And it's a slight constriction on the throat. The same shape your throat makes when you're saying sa or ha. It's that shape. So you can try that. Ujjayi breath, sometimes we'll call it that, so maybe ocean breath, because it sounds like the ocean. You'll feel it, or you'll hear your breath much more audibly. You'll hear it, it's much louder when you make this sound in your throat. So inhaling and exhaling. Let's just do a couple more. Inhaling. It's a beautiful practice. This is my favorite, I have to say, I always say it's my favorite, but this really is my favorite balance, the um, hair and balance. So good to be moving, and balancing, and breathing together, and then come to a stillness. Okay. We haven't finished with the legs yet. We're going to do a good. We're going to do a chair. Yes. <laughs> so we have the feet hips width apart, parallel. Breathing in, lift the arms up, stretch the arms up. They're in line with the body. You can see. And we're keeping that alignment, keeping the, the neck also in that alignment. So as you sit back, as you breathe out, the bottom's going backwards. You're bending into the knees. Your arms are going forwards and the neck is in line with your arms, so you're looking down at the ground. Try and keep the space between the knees level, keep the arms, um, keep the body long. So we're really lengthening out of the hips there. Strong belly, strong legs. See if you can go another breath, dig deep with your breath. I use the inhale to come back up. And exhale, the arms come back down. Good, yeah. It's gonna bring some heat into the body. So we're going to come into a forward bend now. So take hold of the back or extending up, inhale, exhale, coming forwards through space, touching the ground or whatever you can reach. If you have something on the ground, books or cushions, whatever you have around you. Then we're going to see if we can come into this forward bend again. So inhaling, look forwards, come up on the fingertips, exhaling, forward bend. So we're really imagining you're lifting the tail to the, to the ceiling and the chest. The sternum is coming down to the space between your big toes and just see if you can 
soften, soften what is uh, resisting through your breath. Simple as that. There is resistance, and that resistance is valid. It has a place, it has a purpose. So we're just meeting it and having a little conversation with it with our breath and uh, encouraging that resistance to soften a little bit. Good. And now we're just going to come up onto the fingertips again, bring the weight onto the left foot, and we're going to step back a big step with the right. And then we're going to step back with the left, so we're in a plank. So don't forget, with plank we want the chest above the hands, not the face above the hands. So we want the body to be in a straight line. And you require some strength in your shoulders and chest here, and the arms, of course. Try and unlock the elbows. And then you're going to come down to the front of the body. So you can either bring your knees down or you can lower down. And once you're there, have a little rest. Rest on the side of your face. Bring the arms back. So the back of the arms are on the ground. Breathing in and breathing out. And actually what might feel quite nice there is if you want to, see how it feels. Uh, it's interlinking the fingers and just resting back to the hands on the lower back. It can be very restful for the back there. And when you breathe, just feeling that space that the hands are engaged with. Otherwise, just let the hands be rested at your side if it feels, if that doesn't feel good. Or you can just rest the backs of the hands if you're finding it difficult to make that connection. Just placing the backs of the hands on the lower back, maybe even giving it a rub there, <laughs> why not? And breathing deeply into that, encouraging the breath into this area. So then we let go of the hands and move backwards. Back of the hands on the ground, bring the legs together. Toes are pointed, come onto the forehead. Let's come up on an inhale. So we're going to lift the head off the ground, inhaling, lift the arms off the ground, and then lift the legs off the ground. Trying to lift as much of your body off the ground as possible, breathing in and out the whole time. You don't need to hold your breath. We're keeping that breath moving. We're keeping the body energized. Yeah, really thinking about the length in the whole body rather than just the bend. One more breath in and lower down, rest on the other side of the head this time. And again, you can interlink the fingers if you want to and just rest the backs of your hands on the lower back. It feels kind of nice there. Very supportive and very kind of held feeling. And breathing deeply. Good. And then we're going to come into a bow. So you can either, everyone's going to bend their knees, come onto the forehead, and you can either take hold of the feet. And if you don't find that possible, or if you don't like that, you can always put the hands on the ground instead. But this time, rather than the backs of the hands, it's the front of the hands. So you can choose which one you want. And on the inhale, again, you're lifting the head off the ground, the chest, and then attempting to lift the shoulders back and away and the toes are going to the ceiling. And it might be just a tiny little bit of movement from the knees off the ground. If you have the hands on the ground, it's the same thing. You're lifting and bending the back. You're lifting the front of the body off the ground as much as possible and pressing into the hands. So it's just a slightly more exaggerated in this full bow position. And slowly breathing out, lowering down slowly, breathing in and out. Bring the hands just either side of your face there so that you can push into the hands, sit back into the heels, bring the forward to the ground, and just release the back. It's going to feel good after that. Breathing in. <sighs> breathing out. And again, breathing in. And breathing out. <sighs> good. So we're going to find a way to come to the back of the body. And this is the way but you can do this with me if you want to, or just find whatever way you'd like to, to come on the back of the body. So I'm gonna come up onto all fours here, tuck the toes under, come up into downward dog. Let's come into downward dog. Breathe. Heels are slowly coming down to the earth. Back is long, space between the shoulders. Shoulders are down away from the ears. Fingers are spread wide, repressing the whole of the hands, both hands into the ground. 
And then we're going to walk the feet towards the hands, bring the bottom to the ground, bring the legs in front of us, and we're going to slowly low, lower the body down. Well, you might already be lying down, that's okay as well. Stretch the fingers towards the toes, lower down slowly, keep breathing in and out through the nostrils and let go totally once you're there. Let's have some release here, breathing into the nostrils. Ah, oh, up through the mouth, really let it all go. Breathe out fully, let it go, let it go. What is, what is clinging, what is holding, what is diverting your attention away from your experience, yourself, your breath, your presence? Notice that. And just feeling your breath moving in your body, just lying in Shavasana, arms away from the body, just enjoying that feeling. Now it's going to do a little bit of moving. So as you inhale from this position, inhale, you bring the arms up above the head, let them rest above the head. As you exhale, you press the back into the ground, draw the knees up. As you inhale, you push the heels up to the ceiling. As you exhale, you bend the knees and bring them into the chest. Inhaling the knees or the feet move away. You can slide your feet on the ground if that's better. And then exhaling the arms are coming forwards until they reach the beginning point. Hands on the ground. Then the inhale again. Inhale, arms moving up till they reach the ground above the head. Let them rest there. That's exhaling, pushing the back into the ground. Draw the knees up. Inhaling, extending the backs of the legs, pushing the heels to the ceiling. Exhaling, knees come in. Inhaling, the legs go away. Exhaling, the arms come forward. Moving slowly and steadily, the inhales. Slow, steady inhale, the arms coming up. Filling the body with air. And then the exhale, you press the back into the ground, you draw the knees up. Squeeze the knees into the body. Extending the backs of the legs by pushing the heels up to the ceiling, inhaling, exhaling, the knees come into the body, squeeze the air out. Inhale, legs go away, expanding the body. Exhale, arms coming back through space, landing either side of the body. Let's do one more of these. This is just getting closer with the breath, bringing the body and the breath into harmony. Exhaling, draw the knees in. Inhaling, extending the backs of the legs. Exhaling, knees come in. Inhaling, legs extend away. And finally, exhaling, arms coming through space and landing either side of the body. Inhale, and then exhale, press the back into the ground. Let's just hug the knees for a moment. Have a little rock either side, side to side. Just enjoying that movement, side to side. Let's just release the hips a little bit. So we're just going to draw some circles with the knees. So as you inhale, the knees are going away. As you exhale, the knees fall away from each other, come back to the body. Just enjoying this movement, inhaling and exhaling. You can close your eyes here, just, just feeling the release, just noticing how the body is softening and relaxing a little bit. So make this very slow. Make this as slow as you can, trying to feel each little part of the movement, each little bit of the hip joint and how it's releasing very slowly and gradually. And we'll change direction again. Try and do this as slowly as possible. Exhaling, the knees come into the body. Inhaling, the knees come away. Maybe you'll find that each breath there's a bit more space, there's a bit more freedom, there's a bit more lubrication in the joint. Movement, movement creates lubrication, freedom, fluidity, movement. Yeah, keep going with the movement. Always find a way to move, whatever that is. So everything is staying in motion. And just hug the knees again, squeeze the knees into the body. Let's just extend the legs and arms and feel the back on the ground. And let's rotate the wrists and ankles all at the same time, just freeing them up, also taking the weight off the legs. 
and then we rotate in the other direction. Wrists and ankles, hug the knees once more. Okay. And if you want to, if you have something you can rest your legs up on or have a legs up against the wall, I invite you to do so, really taking that weight off the legs, or you can just come into Shavasana. So we'll have a few moments here relaxing in Shavasana. Closing your eyes, noticing how your body feels, how your breath feels, noticing the impact of your efforts. How does that feel? Breath coming in and breath going out. Let it go. Maybe take a few releasing breaths, breathing in through the nostrils. Sigh out through the mouth. Let it go. And then just let your breath settle into an easy, soft, natural breath. No effort at all. Just breath coming in and out through the nostrils. Noticing how effortless that is. Just feeling the breath moving. You're not doing anything. There is nothing for you to do. There is nothing for you to do here. Just let yourself be as you are. Let your breath be as it is. Breath coming in and breath going out. And the sound of the bell marking the end of our practice today. So we just start to move the body, start to breathe a little deeper, start to stretch the body, maybe hug the knees, do whatever feels good and start to move towards coming back to seated. Moving towards coming back to seated. Okay. Taking the time to move towards that. And when you finally come up to seated, take a look around, opening the eyes, moving, seeing how the body feels now, really acknowledging and noticing, how do I feel now compared to the beginning of the practice? Yeah, how is my body, my breath, my energy? Noticing our little journey we've been through together. And then we're just gonna look the palms together and make some heat and bring some Point the focus to the space, this place, and that heat and energy we bring to the heart center, where we started, the heart. And we continue to return over and over and over. Even when we get a bit out there, we come back to the heart, come back to the heart. And bring to mind your Sankalpa. Say to yourself your intention, phrase or sentence positively frame something you want to manifest or encourage in yourself an idea a belief an activity you want to encourage in yourself say that to yourself just feel that landing in the heart feel the heart just holding it with love namaste Thank you for your practice today. Don't forget to persist. Persistence, persistence pays. Thank you.